Hello, this is Mark from tradingform.com and welcome to this video on how to calculate the Williams percent R indicator. Now, Williams percent R was developed by the great commodities trader and trading instructor, Larry Williams. And I'm showing an example on the chart on the screen at the moment. Now, Williams percentile is an oscillator type indicator that is calculated in a very similar way to the stochastic oscillator. And like the stochastic, like RSI, like the MACD, like all of the oscillators, one of the key ways to trade using these indicators is to look for divergences. And what this means is to look for divergences between the price We've got price action up here at the top. We can see in this case we have an index that is grinding higher, although it doesn't quite make it higher here, but the feel of it is getting higher over this time period. But if we were looking here at the Williams percent R during this period, we can see that this strength is not reflected in the oscillator, which is not making new highs. In fact, it is starting to drift slightly lower over this period. This would have been a good divergence to observe because it preceded the fairly significant sell-off that we've seen in 2015 of most of the world stock markets. Now, how can we calculate Williams percent R? Well, I'm going to show you how to do it using Microsoft Excel. And before I show the calculation, I would like to mention that if you're interested in developing trading strategies, in backtesting trading strategies, I do have a new ebook available. It's available in the Amazon Kindle bookstore. And if you'd like some more information, there is a link on the screen at the moment. So the Williams percent R, we're actually going to calculate it just using three columns of this Excel spreadsheet here. We've got the historic data in the standard format, open, high, low, close data with the, the date on the left. And the first one I'm going to have is the highs, the low, and then percent R. So we're going to calculate a 14 period Williams percent R. So I'm going to use the Excel formula equals max. Just type in equals max and this will identify the highest value of the range of the highs. So we know that 6709.3 is the highest high over this 14 periods. Opposite of the max is equals min, which identifies the lowest value. So we've got here the lowest low over these 14 periods. Now the third column, we're going to calculate the percentage R. So we're going to use the formula of the, start with the bracket here, we're going to have the high minus the close. We're going to divide that, opening a new bracket, with the high minus the low. Now these are the highest high and the lowest lows. Okay, so there we have our main formula and we're going to bound it, Let's turn it into an oscillator by multiplying it by minus 100. And in Excel, all we need to do to copy the values down to the cells below is to highlight them and double click here. So there we have in this third column that we have calculated here the values of the Williams percent R. If you'd like more information about trading the financial markets and in particular about using Excel to backtest and to develop trading strategies, please go to www.tradeinformed.com. Dot com.